Hello. Um, welcome to my Sunday Facebook Live. A bit later than normal, but um, we've had a bit of a lazy Sunday, later lunch, later dinner. So um, I thought I would just push the Facebook Live back a little bit. How is everyone? Ah, Lisa. Um, Steve is popping out shortly. He's going to be doing a couple of deliveries um, if you're around, Lisa. He's just heading out the door. Hello. I'm just going to pull this door to. One second. That's better. That's better. Perfect. Let's see that. So. Evening. Are you home, Becky, or are you catching in between shifts? How is everyone? Southern California. Hello. Hey, Pam. Hey, Hazel. How are you? Uh, right. I've got a clear desk this evening. I have been... Hey, Mum. I have been busy, busy today, but um, making cards that I can't share with you. <laughs> um, not yet, anyway. So I have been making... Um, uh, bits of class cards I've been making cards to go up on my blog later in the month um designing for various bits and pieces so I've cleared the decks and I have pulled out um hey Becky um the stamp set I have pulled out is this one which is basket of blooms I really like this one when I saw it I love I do love a flower pot um along with my flower obsession um i have got the um pattern play out as well i thought that could mix and match and i've had an idea with the poppies as well so i kind of i've got a bit of a mishmash going on the other set i was going to pull out tonight and you might sway me to to swap over i'm not sure um was the can't see it where is it gone the coffee cup one why can't I see it I'm staring at my shelf trying to see it nothing but nothing no where is it gone ah oh, there it is couldn't see it for looking this one so I might say I don't know might save that one for next week unless you would really, really rather see this one. Um, but um, let's let's start. Morning, Helen. Uh, with the idea, a couple of ideas I had with this, and then we'll see where we go. So let's turn the camera over. Too many choices is my problem. It's a nice problem to have, but it is a problem. <laughs> so. Uh, Right, let me turn the camera over. That's my ceiling. That's better. Uh, Diane says, just ordered better than. Yes, it's a nice one. It's a nice those. This <laughs> has not seen either of those. Another Browse the catalogue again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, right. Maybe we'll do, do one of each. Should we do um, one of these ones and one of these ones? And then that way we've covered them both. A bit different, something not flowers as well. So uh, let's do this one first because it was in my head that I just... I've got to get this out of my head, which was the stripes from the pattern of these stripes. How is, how are you all? Has everyone been, had a nice weekend? Have you had lots of crafty time or have you been doing other things? Okay. So I've 
taken the bars from the uh, basket set and rather than um, immediately colouring it, just going to have mm. Oh, I do love a stripe. <laughs> I've taught you well, Liz. <laughs> this says love stripe. Good job. Right, let's do bars. Now the question is, what colour? Raining every day makes for good, yes, good stamping days if it's rainy, doesn't it? So, what colour should we have? Maybe we should have... Um, Bumblebee and Misty Moon, maybe? Let's see. Uh, oh, I'm glad you've had a nice weekend, but no crafting. I know, the tidying part of the craft room is the, uh, is the essential, isn't it, sometimes? Right, I probably didn't need the stripes going all the way across like that. That was a little extreme, that... going to take my coffee out. So this is Bumblebee. Look at that. So we've got Misty Moonlight and Bumblebee and hey Jacqueline uh, I'm going to cut this out for a stripey vase oh my goodness a little bit of blends to this as well we'll see I kind of like that I was kind of thinking maybe the bottom part of the vase could be coloured with the blend um, someone was asking about these that's the lighter misty moonlight in between. I don't know why. Okay. Got a little patterned vase now. You could do that with any of the patterns. Any patterns that you've got. Um, patterned paper, you can make that vase anything that you want it to be. Um, so, I think I'm going to keep this card fairly, fairly simple. We want some, um, something to layer it up on. Um, what have we got? We've got a couple of tags and bits and bobs from... Things are cut out, so uh, that one. Maybe this one is quite nice, isn't it? We've got this tag as well. Have scallops and corners, maybe just that. Just that one, maybe. 
And then we need some flowers. Um, ah, thanks, Donna. Um, they are, right, flowers. So, um, these two flowers here match, oh, sit nearly. Did you hear that? That was my coffee cup spinning. Luckily, it's got a decent base. Um, slight panic. That that punch matches um, those two flowers. So, um, they will punch out. And mm, the rest of this set is fussy cutting, but... Uh, let's do one of those and a couple of those and we should do them in memento because we're going to just blend, blend them. those will be enough but then we can do a few more flowers three will be fine it was I was so keen to get onto the coffee coffee set that I thought I would just empty my cup over the desk <laughs> luckily it stayed put so um few uh what colour should we have these? So definitely, definitely kind of yellows. So if we go mango. And light mango and maybe jade. Just to keep the in colour theme thing going. Can have jade leaves. And... really not much to it and that's the lighter oh ah hi Debbie uh, oh, I've just opened the same pen I wasn't paying attention <laughs> right dark dark in the center These are a great set for colouring. Um, get a bit of blending going. <laughs> Hazel, I could, I could accommodate. I've cleared the magenta off my desk for this week. I was like, no, I can make a card with no pink in it. I promise. I can, I can. <laughs> magenta is so pretty. Right, light jade. Is the lighting okay? I can't see this on the screen. Um, just gonna. I'm hoping you can see me okay. Oh yeah, I've got it out. That's okay. Right. Uh, Let's blend these out. Oh, thank you. Give me some thumbs up. That's good. Um, thank you so much to everyone as well who signed up for my online classes. So I've got the um, Peony All Day event. So the kits are now closed, um, but you can still join online. Um... That's going to be all day on the 18th of this month and then it will be repeated the following weekend in the evenings, also live. Um, so depending on time zones, um, it will be the 18th in 
our day time, UK time, um, from 10.30 to 4.30. And then the following weekend, it will be um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday evening um, at this time. So like 8.30 um, start each um, day. And the um, sunflower class is on Saturday, the 1st of August. Not all day, but um, daytime. And then repeated again in the evening. So again... I always repeat them um, live again in the evening because it means that if you're in a different time zone, you can still hook on live rather than just watching a replay video, um, which is nice. Um, and uh, yeah, and the online, you get an exclusive Facebook group, you get the PDF, you get the live video and you get the replay. Um, so the Sunflower class is just the one class. Um, leading up to this one I've been doing a bundle of classes so you get two classes with the same stamp set um, but because of the all-day event it's a one class one this month um, so there are still spaces but thank you to everyone who's signed up I am looking forward to those a lot I love the sunflowers <laughs> they were like the top of my list when the catalogue came out they're just beautiful And the all day event is focused around the peonies. Again, more flowers, sorry. But um, yeah, <laughs> they are just so pretty. Um, and the peonies have of course got that 3D peony in it as well, which is just um, stunning. So, ah, you're welcome. It's so lovely to see you online, Jacqueline. It's so nice. Um, my pleasure. The, right, so this leaf I'm just cutting out. Um, this bit here, I'm not gonna bother cutting out because it's going onto a white background, but if you were to, uh, I'll show you. If you go, even though the leaf is sort of behind the other leaf, you can still cut that apart. If you follow the one leaf down, and then cut in that center section. If you pull that away, that will kind of sit back together and it, rather than digging into that hole to try and um, get it out, just cut that apart to get down between. Oh, that's so good. Pat said, love the sun. So I sent sunflower seeds out with the new catalogs with um, one of the die cuts of the um, sunflowers. Um, and so Pat um, has planted those and and I've been getting reports from various people on how well they're doing. I must, must, I keep meaning to put um, a, a photo up so you can um, add your sunflower reports. Uh, I must do that. I'll try and do that tomorrow, actually. Right, so that is going to go in there and then these can punch out. So um, I've got little bits of paper. Have yours gone really good? Oh, that's good. This is hers are really tall. That's fabulous. I do love sunflowers. Are they taller than you le yet, Liz? Are they, are they, how tall? Are they tall, tall? <laughs> what are they? Mine have got about, mm, probably not yet, a metre actually, maybe a metre tall? I'm guesstimate, may, maybe a metre. I think mine aren't doing as well because they're in a pot with loads of other plants. So I don't know. Oh, yes, you do, Emma. These are so good. Um, you've got the sticky end 
and then you've got the ball tool, small and large. And then you have the pokey tool and the um, scraper bit. And then you've got the um, other one that does the, um, oh, like the pushing out of the dye things as well. So yeah, but the sticky, that gluey end for picking up um, dimensionals and bits and bobs is super, super handy. Dimensionals. Um, yeah. Oh, they're going to be good. So that's going to go. Give that a little shape. And I'm going to pop that in with some glue. Uh, Jacqueline's, how do I keep them so handy? My these, I've got a little pot on my desk with all my stuff in. So I've got my aqua painters, my glue, my bone folders, everything just to the right hand side of me in one big pot. Actually, it's in my light. So my light um, has, like the light comes up the middle and then it's got four sections around the outside. So it's like a bowl with loads of um, space. Is that what you mean? I'm assuming you're talking about the take your pick tool. Right. Um, sometimes with the delaying comments, I'm not sure. Maybe, yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah, everything is literally just within reach to the side of me. And my blocks are that way in a tub. They're like just there. So, um... Yeah. Right, that is going to stick on there, there maybe, and One, one more there maybe. Might do a double layer on that one and then do one behind. So that one I'll put a dimensional. Mm. Even just like a pen pot or something just to the side. But like if you've got your scissors, tweezers, kind of I have it, it things I have in there are kind of that that Wink of Stella blend all the things I kind of want to reach for um quite quickly are just literally on my desk rather than rummaging right that ills uh, that one. giving these a little bit of um a squeeze just to have some texture so i'm gonna tuck that in Behind there, maybe glue dot might work better. Um, and then we need some centers, don't we? So we either need gems or um these so i think um these epoxy uh, yes the small blue punch is brilliant and blue punch and do i want brown centers or 
I might change my mind. I'm going to have a cinnamon cider centre. They look good, don't they? So, they are the perfect size centres for those flowers. Um, let's do that up onto a card. So, let's just pop you up a little bit higher. We need a sentiment on that, don't we? Um, there are no sentiments in the basket um, of Bloom's set. So, um, what have we got? Uh, what's in this one? That's quite sweet, isn't it? I just pulled this one down. Lovely you. Um, let's cheer you up. Uh, uh, Louise. Oh, I've missed your comment, Louise. Let me have a look on my... Uh, did I order from the Christmas catalogue? I did. I did do a pre-order. I'm hoping it will come this week. But we'll see how soon it's coming. Um... Little treats die looks good. It all looks good, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, too much nice stuff. Again, they just keep outdoing themselves with amazing stuff. Uh, I should have stamped that before, but that's fine. We'll go with it. <laughs> um, thankfully, it's gone on okay. Oh, Dan, that's okay. You can still come in. It's fine. Dan says it's late to the party. Joined late. The stripes are from this one. So, pattern clay. It's got these wonderful patterns in it and dots and sparkles and the stripes are amazing. It's got like this track um, tyre and stuff. <laughs> Jacqueline, did you finally place your pre-order? You're like, right, I'm going to go for it. Press the button. Press the button. Do it. It's difficult, isn't it? Because, like, you know, we're only we're only just into July. It feels slightly odd ordering Christmassy autumn stuff when we're still, like, you know, summer. Mm. Louise says, yeah, uh, yes, I will. Of course I will. I will um, show you what I ordered for sure. Right, let's put this on a card. Um, what about a bumble... B background but with the stripes maybe uh, bumblebee bumblebee so we do mm. it's long enough to go across I think it is yes so if we do tone on tone um mm, i'm hoping you're all still there because i've got the facebook up in front of me on my computer and it's frozen so i'm hoping Can you just maybe give me uh, hopefully it will catch up oh okay I'm getting thumbs up, but my screen still hasn't moved. So that is very odd. I might just refresh. Let's see. Let's carry on regardless. So stripes with tone on tone. Oh, we're here. That's all right. I won't worry about my screen then. And using the grid lines just to help line this up. does really help just keeping that straight on that line there and then I can check out the um, sides I might just do the stripes at the bottom and leave the top part plain what do we think Oh, 
Oh, we finally got round to watching Frozen 2 this afternoon. I have to admit, I only got, not because it was bad, because I couldn't tell you either way, but I sat to watch it and about 20 minutes in, I woke up and it was finished. <laughs> it was a lovely nap, but I have no idea whether the film was any good or not. <laughs> mm. It was the sing-songy music, I don't know. I was having, I just thought, oh, this is very relaxing. How nice for a Sunday afternoon. And um, yeah. <laughs> Delightful. Right, let's put this on a white base. Uh, so just. Oh, twice. Oh, Alison. Mm. Uh, it was Steve actually that wanted to watch it. <laughs> I should just out him on Facebook Live. He's <laughs> like, oh, Frozen 2, can we watch it? Joshua was like, oh, do we have to? Um, I, I don't know if he watched it in the end. He was distracted with his iPad multitasking. So, um, I was really wanting to watch it. I was wanting to watch it. Um, but, yeah, to totally fell asleep. Right, okay. So, um, uh, <clears throat> oh, wow, Catherine, you tell about 10 minutes from the home office. Oh, very jealous. Very jealous indeed. He does. Does love a musical. <laughs> uh, Emma said, totally appreciate a movie nap. Did the same last weekend. A movie nap is the best. Right, so Blossom Punch that we've just used to cut those flowers out. Also good for taking like a little notch out the side of your card. So... Um, Alison has suggested some twine, so I'm going to oblige um, and pop some twine around. Um, so I'm going to just tie that to the side there. Oh, that tail's a bit long. It'd be a bit wasteful otherwise. Hang on. Hold up. waste there. Better. So that's gonna go into a bow and I love how the twine kind of has its tails. Uh <laughs> uh, what size of card base and cut so it's just half a sheet of A4 so I've cut it to 14.8 um, centimetres that way 14.8 and scored at 10 and a half and then this is just taken in a little bit from this edge so that is my normal kind of front is 14 and a half by 10.2 um, centimetres so that is the card, sort of a standard card size that I make. So let's He's also doing the same. Not always, but has been known to be able to belt out a tune. So <laughs> right, let's put that on there and we will pop this up to the side there with some dimensions so we want top and bottom for sure because um I want to leave that kind of gap for the twine to sit through good suggestion on the twine Alison I'm always always happy to oblige with the twine um right let's do that would definitely cheer you up wouldn't it if you got that through the post nice and bright and um just holds the twine in place there with that little and adds a bit of interest doesn't it it kind of adds a little little something so that's our first one 
Should we stick to this? Co these colours are nice, aren't they? We can maybe stick to these colours with the coffee cup. Um, I did have an idea. I did have an idea for the other. I'll have to do that another time. I'll have to do that another time. Right. Um. So, uh, is that stitched so sweetly? The dies. I think they are. I've got a pile of dies cut in my tub. They're definitely current. Um, they coordinate with the So Sentimental. So I think that is the name of them. I would need to check. Um, right, I'm just giving my stamps a clean just to put them out the way. And we will... Keep that one out. So let's do coffee. Coffee. Um, this stamp set is brilliant. I really do. I've made loads with this, but just nothing I've shared so far because it's um not yet been shared on my um <laughs> blog. Uh, trying to multitask, which, da, 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 which set is it from? The vase one is from the Basket of Blooms, Fiona. So, we've got coffee, coffee, coffee. Let's do coffee cup and the infill so you can obviously color these cups as well um but for the purposes of this i'm going to stamp i'm gonna have the words coffee as well and there's a little sort of um steam coming out of the um and then I'll leave the other sentiments for now because we'll do them in a minute so let's do oh my goodness um that was so cool isn't it right uh Let's do um, I've made about four or five of these cards and I'm trying desperately not to kind of not not that I don't want to recreate them, but I don't want to I'm trying to think of something different. Mm. Louise, very good question. How many blocks? I know, I've clearly got loads, but then I was running classes of lots of people. So these were my class blocks as well. These were not just personal use. Um, I would say you want um, an e-block when you first start stamping this one because it holds, like most stamps, it's a big one. Um, and then I would order a couple like you know not all at once but like you know a couple of d blocks and a couple of um those size blocks i wouldn't get to, like loads of every size you know this one you don't you don't need multiples of a giant block like that most stamps fits on these size look at the stamps you've got um and you know as and when you can afford to pop one on put one on um at a time when you think okay I'm putting an order in I might add one block on and they'll soon build up I didn't just buy 27 blocks or whatever it is in one go I was putting orders through and I thought all oh, right I've got some rewards or I'm gonna do a class so I'll add an extra block on um, and they've just built up over the time um, I stamped for a very very long time when I got my starter kit with just an e-block and even the tiny stamps or things diagonally or everything would kind of fit on this e-block I'd clean it peel it off and put the next one on um it just builds up over time um 
we absolutely just can't afford to have everything all in one go but once you've got the staples um you know you build up your ink colors you build up your blends you you know those sorts of things um you're not buying blocks again once they build up you've got them um so yeah and especially if you you know i, I say i was running classes so um the large block in the catalog is massive it's absolutely massive um i tend not to use it because i use my stemperatus um but it's the size of a um, background stamp so i mean that's a card front so you get the idea of how big that is um yeah uh pat says don't put them in the dishwasher no they, they potentially have the um i don't know people say different things but i mean obviously they could potentially go cloudy can't they like your glasses do um if you you know like your plastic glasses and things <clears throat> um just some warm soapy water would clean them up nicely wouldn't it let's do so this has got like a nice um white shading that is deliberate um yeah Jacqueline says the same um love the SG blocks once yeah they're nice to hold aren't they um and um yeah getting them slowly absolutely you just you don't you know if you're buying a bundle and buying a stamp set and you think right well, i'm going to add one block on that seems affordable but ordering absolutely loads of them in one go just it doesn't and you want pretty things as well you don't want just tools but the tools make the job um you know so much easier so it's a striking a balance because you don't just want the pretty things and not have a good pair of snips and a good trimmer and um a nice block because then it makes it much the job harder and you don't get the results that you would like to get with the things that are pretty um right let's do the blue this is much darker i'm maybe gonna stamp off that was maybe mm. No, I'm just going to go full strength. Let's go for it. Uh, da, 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 da. This is very therapeutic and very quick, isn't it? Like to add the colour. Hi, Kayla. Um, someone says, yeah, hand sanitizer cleans them beautifully. So the alcohol um, stuff, obviously, if you've got any to spare at the moment. Um, it's a high demand product. So right, so we've now got those. Um yeah, if you're doing lots of cards as well, I think you know you've got the two and you're not peeling, and then you don't get that essentially if you've got one block and you're not cleaning them brilliantly you're going to be peeling them off and getting ink over your hands and then you get ink on your projects and then you get disappointed. So, you know, um, uh, that's a very good question to Jan. <laughs> I don't know is the answer. Um, I tend to just put them in a bowl with some hot soapy water and like, um, you know, washing up liquid. And just give them a wash now and again but generally i wipe them down just with my chamois um. oh my goodness i love this stamp set absolutely so rich i love it i'm just i'm a fan of coffee anyway i love i love my coffee so. We know which stamp sets I've ordered from the Christmas catalogue, don't we? Right, that one. Uh, 
missed one here, which I'm going to add just a bit of colour to, just because it's um, peaking on that corner. Ah, oh, Liz, you just said the same. I know. Uh, there, just a bit of colour. Right. Can't see it for looking sometimes, can you? Uh... They will come up brilliantly. Uh, they'll be like new, Donna. Okay, so we've got our background. We now want our labels or something or... Um, I'm always tempted to pull out circles. Um, what about up there? That's quite cool. It just gives it a little bit more something, doesn't it? Let's um, trim that. can sit there when we're done with it um what are we going to do um i'm just looking at the sentiments so we've got um a day without and then yeah i think that's my i'm going to do that so a day without and we're going to have coffee uh Jan says I haven't even noticed this. Uh oh yeah, hopefully they will come soon for you, Louise. Waiting on some ink pads. Mm. So we are going to do some extra coffee cups to cut out or die cut out. Um used the chocolate ones and I wrapped chocolate bars and sent them as a gift which was brilliant um I've had a, a the cocktail one um has that gone up on yeah that one has gone up on my blog there was um a cocktail one that has gone up on my blog so coastalcrafter.com and it was a summer challenge, like for the Global Design Project. I think it was last last week. Lost with days. So you can cut this cup out. Um, uh, oh, Chris, that's really helpful to know. Just ordered ink pads and didn't show us back ordered. So hopefully they'll be with you soon. Oh, that's good. Um, you can absolutely cut these out, but the die will cut the handle part of the cup out. And I think that it just um, adds a little something. So I'm just going to cut that out and show you. Um, and so I'll show you the die. It's this one. My, It's got that little handle notch so that will sit like that and i'll just run that through um, one done and two oh it's moved hang on nearly there sorry Right, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I've just been a second. I haven't brought the big shot over because it's just um, easier up here. And so there we go. The rest of the dies I'll show you as well. 
Uh, so you've got um, the coffee cup, the cocktail, the chocolates, and then the cookie. And then you have love you more than, and then coffee, um, cookies, chocolate, and uh, cocktails and chocolate in the bigger words. So that's the die set that coordinates, but the cups are fabulous. And I think I'll just do the two. And so they can sit on dimensions. one and then we want to double dimension this one so that it sits um higher uh, so that sits higher that's going to go up on there And then the inside of the card, so um, uh, maybe do the misty moonlight because it would be um, bumblebee on the other one. So if I do misty moonlight, it gives us one of each colour. And if I do the inside, so let's do. Do you know what? Maybe I want that in yellow, actually. Because I've got the coffee cup in misty moonlight. So I'm going to make that. A day without coffee. And then we will put... Is like... Is like um just kidding i have no idea <laughs> i love that saying right and then we want our coffee can of cup in there so i'm gonna yes i'm gonna dimension it into the inside of the card and yes it will probably go over the large postage but it's worth it so let's put that there and we'll put some sparkles or some Gyms. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm going to go actual sparkles. I do like the colours, but I think the wine scenes and things of the mind are going to go. Oh, no, I know what are these. These look cool. These little wooden. Hmm. Sorry, swap, swip, swap me mind again. Um, what about? I'm just going to 
going to stick with the gems. I wanted the gems. That's <laughs> just stick with the sparkle. I wanted something just to kind of lift it. So the the sparkle just definitely adds a bit of bling, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, love, love. Oh, see you soon, Louise. Um, for all the coffee, just like perfect, isn't it? A day without coffee is <laughs> like working overtime. That's funny. <laughs> uh, you think it's a good idea. And then when you get there, the reality of it, not so much, hey? When you sign up for those overtime shifts. Nice to have the extra money though, isn't it? Right. Let's put these in. Yes, Liz, I'm there. Sparkles on the front, for sure. Definitely, definitely. So, let's put that in. Like so. And let's do that on the front. Um, didn't trim that enough. That's okay. I can do that now. I've left it at the wrong height. There we go. Ba, ba, ba. Yes. Bling on the inside. I know. <laughs> uh, let's do three on the front as well. Uh, twine on the front. I don't know that it... No, I'm going to leave the twine. I don't know. Not on this one. I think I'm going to leave it with the bling. So, same colours, completely different stamp sets. The idea with the poppies we'll have to wait for another day but that is the two cards i hope you like them i've loved making the coffee one so you've got um one with the basket of blooms and the stripes are from the pattern play and then this one is the nothing's better than um Oh, yes. Thank you, Patty. I'm on it. Let's see if I can do that without mucking that up. Hopefully I can. Hmm. Maybe. There we go. Yes. Just finishes it, doesn't it? There we go. Hot cup of coffee on the inside. We don't want a cold cup of coffee on the inside. Not unless it's an iced latte. There we go. Oh, thank you. I hope you've enjoyed them. So that's Bumblebee and Misty Moonlight is the colours. That's two of the new in colours. Um, and that green was the Just Jade in the blends. So there you go. I will also upload these to um, YouTube. I am trying to get better at that. Um, a fair amount of my replays... I'm not going to say all of them because I haven't been that good. Um, but a fair amount of my replays are on my YouTube channel. Um, so just Coastal Crafter on YouTube. Um, and you're Emma Goddard, Coastal Crafter. Um, and you'll be able to watch the replays on there. Um, so um, I'd love you to pop over and subscribe. My son is avidly watching my um, subscribe account. Um, he asks me daily, Mummy, what number are you at? Mummy, what number are you at? I'm like, I've, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm working towards the thousand. Um, but yeah, he's checking in on me. And so um, any any extra subscribes would be welcome. Um, and um, yeah, and if you wanted to watch the um, all of the back catalogue of like my um, Facebook lives, if you go to my Facebook page and go to the video section, um, all the previous videos that have been recorded on my Facebook lives right from the very beginning are on there so even when i've got like um 
I'm not in this space. I'm in my kitchen and things like that. Um, Mary says it is my... Oh, no, it's not. It's not. I haven't uploaded it yet. I must do that. Um, the golf stuff's now sort of been and gone. I must do that. Um, you keep asking and I keep... It is on my list. I just never seem to get round to it. So I will try and do that. Um, so, ah, uh, he wants to be my... Um, social media manager I think <laughs> he might do a better job of it than me so right lovely I'm gonna love you and leave you and um, leave you to get what what is left of your um, Sunday depending on where you are in the world your Sunday evening I hope you've had a good weekend um, stay safe stay well and I will see you next um friday if you're joined up to my card and a cuppa online and otherwise i'll see you on sunday live have a good week everyone see you soon bye